Hey guys, so I'm making this video in case somebody wants to use the Guitar Hero World Tour drums. Um, I seem to have a ton of issues getting this to work on my Windows 10 machine. Um, it's listed here that it's compatible and it's just supposed to be um, plug and play. Though you do need to do this part for, for Zadig to install the WinUSB drivers. But I found that this actually did not work for me. So my drums were not working at all. So, um, here's what you got to do. So first, uh, if you open up control panel, if you go here and then you just search up control panel, that's where you want to hit. And then, um, I'll just show you guys right here. You'll get to this screen and you go to view devices and printers and you get to this screen right here. So basically you want your, um, drum kit to make sure it's actually on, by the way. Um, you want it to show up here, right? If it shows up here and unspecified, you already have a problem. Um, you're going to have to find a way to reinstall, um, the drivers. And I actually had to do this because mine showed up as this first, but then once I did the, the Zadig fix or whatever, it moved it down to here and that's not what you want. Um, so as proof of that, here's my Zadig window. You make sure you go to options and list all devices right here. And then you're going to go to your guitar hero. Um, and yeah, by the way, this is for the PlayStation three. One, I don't know if the Xbox one is a little more plug and play. Um, and you know, it's this one because it's 12 ba zero one two zero one, or it's, I think they list a different number around here or in their, um, spreadsheet. Um, but you can, as you can see, um, mine's working right now and I use a completely different driver compared with the win USB one that they want you to use. So, um, basically you want your controller you want your controller to actually show up as a controller and you'll know it's actually working if you go here into the properties so i'll just open it real quick right click and then go to properties and then go to hardware and you'll see that mine show up as two different device functions here um you want it to show it like this so your game can actually pick this up and read the the inputs as well. Um, <clears throat> basically, if you only have one of these, you're kind of gonna have to gonna have to do some jimmying. So what do I mean by that? So I'm gonna go to USB input device here, and you see this option here that says change settings. You want to hit that. Oops, and bring these guys back up. Uh, properties. Let's find if it opens a new window. So you want to go to here and you want to go to driver. So right here, it might list something different for you. You're going to have to hit update driver, uh, browse my computer. Let me pick from a list and it, it'll list some different things here, right? This is what it defaulted to when I plugged it in. This doesn't work for me. So you might not, you might have to remove this as well. So you might, you're going to have to unclick this and most, this is what you probably, uh, what Zadig actually will um install as but you probably don't want that what i did was i went to microsoft here or yeah it was microsoft the thing is is depending on what driver is installed it, you're going to see different options on this menu so you, there's going to be some times where you're just going to have to uninstall and delete it um through device manager which i'll show you how to get to right now you just right click the start menu and then you go to device manager and then I think yours will show up here in USB. Um, and then you right click. So let's say here, uninstall device. And it, you might have a checkbox here that says to delete it. You're going to want to check that and then hit uninstall. And then you want to restart. And then Windows might find some kind of driver for you. The thing is, is that it's really, it's really, I don't want to break my setup, but um, it's, you're going to have to try a couple different things, right? So <clears throat> I think if it defaults as the other guitar hero, you can actually go to here and in Microsoft, you can actually pick, um, a controller. So a Microsoft Xbox controller, which is what I did. And then I hit next and then it lets you install it. And once I did that, I actually went to device manager, I think, and then I uninstalled it and then I restarted. And then I made sure that the light on the receiver for the drum kit was on. And then it actually installed, um, this driver right here, the USB input device. 
um and then from there um when you have it search for um for updates it was actually able to pull that um so it, it's fine if it doesn't find anything because from here what i did was i brought up zadig and then i did the install and it didn't work again so i think from there i want to say i uninstalled it uh, actually i reverted it that's what i did so i installed this and then it was when usb over here as well and it wasn't working so i went here right back here and then um i went to properties because it, it just makes it one device function right so you want to hit properties and make sure you change settings here because you're not going to get to change anything if you don't hit that and then i rolled back the driver after that it actually started working like this so i'm putting this video out there in case people actually need this because i spent from like 8 p.m to 2 a.m in the morning trying to fix this shit and you know for sure that it's working if you hit if you right click and you hit game controller settings and you see your controller right here and then there's also another website um Is it this one? There's a page for it. Oh, gamepad tester. There you go. And then you'll be able to see your controller right here. So let me turn on my drum kit. And I probably have to unplug this real quick. Hold on. There we go. See? So now you can see that it detects my, my drum kit. And you see I'm pushing the D-pad right now. I'm pushing the buttons on the on the drum kit and then the symbols here. So you see it detects it. So that's gamepad-tester.com. Um, and then from there, you can configure it this way. Uh, just like how it is um, listed here. This is 100% um, accurate. So for here, if I right click custom gamepad and then this one over here. Um, I have the setup and MM joystick. That's what you want. And you also know if it doesn't work, if it, this does not detect anything in devices, if it's blank, then you need to go fix your drivers because it's not going to work. I think there's some drums, um, some drums that will work just like this with the MM joystick enabled, but, and for the PS3 guitar hero world tour drum kit, I could not get this to work until I started doing all those fixes. Also, I forgot to mention, um, when you go here to, to the gamepad configuration and you hit a button and it starts doing like Z minus or whatever, make sure you click on filter noise. Once you click on that, you, you're able to hit the buttons to remap them. Hopefully this helps someone. And if you have any questions, um, I'll try and check my, uh, well, you can comment and I'll try and check it out and help you out. But otherwise, um, that should be it. Thanks. Okay, so this is the TLDR. So the first thing I did was change the driver to the Xbox wireless controller. Um, if you don't know how to do this, you're going to have to go through the video because I don't want to explain all this shit. Um, I don't know if the Xbox One controller works, uh, driver works or not, but you feel free to try. Two, I uninstalled it and deleted driver as well via device manager and that is very different from doing it from control panel so make sure you do it from device manager um, because it's probably going to show up in the usb section or maybe in the gamepad section you want to make sure you remove it because when you when you restart and you come back it's going to be installed as a usb input device and then from there um, you want to install the zadig install so at this point, you'll probably see that it shows up as a gamepad. But for me, it wasn't working. Um, honestly, you could you could try it out and see if you can skip this step. But this is what I did because it wasn't um, registering anything. But I'm almost positive I just missed the step where I needed to bypass the <clears throat> or filter out the noise in um, RPSC3. Um, five. <clears throat> then I reverted the install via control panel driver stuff which if you don't know what i'm talking about you can go to them back to the video and then six it finally worked and that's it 
So um, again, you could probably skip the number four part because I'm, I almost want to say that I'm 95% positive it was showing up like how it is now. Um, and you can just uh, make sure when you're trying to map the buttons to um, filter the noise out and then it should let you uh, map the buttons. That's it.